Hello students, hello world. You know the big Rubik's Cube in our classroom? We mix it, sometimes we solve it. I thought, hasn't been solved in a while. Let's solve it, it's fun, why not? Right, remember the daisy? We make the daisy. Remember the daisy, we put yellow on top. We just, we solve it just like a regular Rubik's Cube. The only thing is that it's not as fast. Here, we make the daisy. Where is the daisy? And we make ourselves a daisy, and it's just a big daisy. See, you see why it's a daisy? Because it's yellow in the middle. Ignore the corners, and we have a daisy like a flower. Okay, so what's next? We look at the petals of the daisy. If it's aligned, we flip it 180. That's 180, that's aligned. That's not aligned. Is anything aligned? Nope. Well, let's align it. Oh, green with green, 180. Orange with orange, 180. Right? Red, go to the red, align. And now we have ourselves A. The daisy has lost its petals. The daisy has lost its petals, but where did they go? They went on the white cross. It's like a plus, see that? And the white cross is aligned. Edge with center. Okay, remember we solved the cube completely with the yellow on the top. So now we gotta put the white corners. Here's a white corner between green and orange. Oh, it's already in the right place. So one, two, three, four. Here is um, orange and blue. One, two, double three, four. Puts, in, puts it in place, now ready to go. One, two, three, four. Now we Christmas, red, white, and green. It is here, one, Two, three, double three, four. One, two, three, four. Students that are in dance or music, they relate better because it's like a count. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So here's the red. One, two, three, four. And check this out. The white base is done. See, the white base is done. And not just that, the entire first floor of the Rubik's Cube is done. So blue, blue, blue matches blue, and so on. It's all aligned. Again, we always solve with yellow on the top. I was just, I just flipped it up to show you. So what's next, love? What's next? Oh, Dr. K, I remember. It's the middle edges, right? The green, we go to the green, for example. We're looking for edges that don't have yellow because they're the edges on the, the middle edges. It doesn't involve yellow. Okay, we're playing. We're gonna put this. This is green and orange. That goes here. Step number one, play hard to get. Where somebody likes you, you play hard to get. You go out of the way, they come looking for you, you go back, and then you're reunited. See, now that you're together, well, guess what? We can put, see how we messed up our white base temporarily? Well, we're gonna build it right now. One, two, hello, three, and four. Okay, same thing with red. Upside down letter T in red. Destination blue, out of the way, two, Three, four, one, insert the white up the road there. One, two, three, four. Orange and blue. One, two, three, four. Now Romeo and Juliet are united. Okay, so one, two, three, four. And now look what we have. Oh, one more, one more edge. One more edge. Where is this? Oh, right here. One, two, three, four corner and edge are united. Let's insert them, one, two, three, four. And guess what? We are done with the first two layers. If we were building a building, these would be the first two layers of the building. Now we just do the third layer, third layer right here. Remember, we either go with a dot, letter R, a minus, or a plus. Okay, so what do you see here, students? Tell me, what do you see? Right, ignore the corners, we're just looking at. If you said R, the letter R, you are correct. I'm gonna show you this move where we shortcut. So instead of doing this algorithm twice, we're just gonna do it once, but we're gonna double it up. So instead of doing an F turn, like F clockwise, we're gonna do a wide F. So wide, and then the one, two, three, four, the hexi, remember? One, two, three, four. And remember, we undo the hexi. And now we have ourselves A, yellow, Cross. Now, is the cross aligned? Let's see. Is the cross aligned? Can we align the cross? Can we align the cross? 
looks like the cross is not aligned. So we have to do this calibre. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, I know, right? Six, seven, eight. And now, let's see. These are aligned, right? See, these are aligned. So now we have to swap these. So remember, we swap the front and the right. So one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. And now we have ourselves a yellow cross that is aligned. Look, red with red, blue with blue, orange with orange, and green with green. So now look, all we have left are the four corners. We don't care if they're yellow on top or yet. We're just putting them in the right place. Is this in the right place? If you said no, you are correct. <laughs> is this in the right place? If you said no, that's correct. Incorrect. That, I mean, if you said no, that is correct. It's not in the right place. None of them are in the right place. Okay, so remember we hold it this way. If this was map of the US, this is Florida, this is California, this is like Washington State or Seattle, this is New York. We hold it so that Florida is okay. We do this algorithm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what happens? Did we put any of them in the right place? Do you see it? Can you spot an edge that in the right place? Doesn't have to be yellow on top, in the right place. If you said, I think it's Jamaican flag, right? Like red, green, and yellow. If you said that, that is correct. We have to do this algorithm one more time. Again, it's the algorithm. If you follow the white column, if you pick, we pick up a left white column, knock its head off to the side. We pick up the right white column, knock its head off to the side, restore this white <laughs> column, bring it down, restore the right, bring it down, one more turn for good measure. And now look what we have. We have, we have every, every corner is in the right spot. We just have to turn them. Now, people say, oh, Dr. K, I know, I can just turn it by hand manually. No, that's how you give Dr. K a heart attack. We do not turn it manually. We do, there's so many ways to do it. We could do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We can do yellow on top, white on top. Uh, let me show you a different way for these. <laughs> let me show you a different way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these are okay. We have chameleon eyes. So many ways to do this. We can do, let's do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now I'll do one more last time. One, two, three, four. See, that's done. We see yellow on top. Remember what we do now, love? We clock it. And now we have to do it two times or four times. Remember, where is the yellow? Yellow is on the side, so we just have to do the algorithm two times. One, and now we're like five seconds from solving it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now we just adjust our face and the big giant cube is solved. This is beginner's method, layer by layer, but you know, it's just extra work because it's so big and bulky, so you can't really do fast fingers. You are so much better than me with your fast fingers, your cubing techniques, your turns, your speed of turns. Again, Dr. K here, best job in the world, best students in the world, proud of you, and keep cubing. My goal is to make you a math genius. Yeah, I would have to say that. Keep cubing.